In this demo, we'll be reviewing how to do the bound buttonhole. First, interface the opening of the bound buttonhole. Line up a piece of fusible interfacing with the buttonhole opening. Now fuse it on using a press cloth. Now we'll add the facing to the opening of the buttonhole. On the right side of the garment, take a bias cup piece of organza or muslin and secure it to the right side. On the wrong side of the garment, stay stitch around the button opening marked on your fusible interfacing. Clip through all layers, opening a slit in your buttonhole opening. About a half inch away from each side, diagonally clip down to the corners of your stay stitching. Clip to, but not through the stay stitching. Take the welts of your buttons and place them right sides together. Stitch directly down the middle of the welts using a basting stitch. Now pull your facing through to the wrong side of the buttonhole and press it flat. Be careful not to stretch your buttonhole opening when pressing. Take your button welts, fold them in half, and press them flat. Now line up the welt to your button directly under the opening of your buttonhole. Make sure the seam of the welts is exactly in the center of your buttonhole opening. Pin the welts in place. Once you have the welts in place, base the buttonhole opening to the welts. Be sure to catch only the outer garment fabric to the welts of the buttonhole. Do not catch the seam allowance of the buttonhole opening. Now we'll stitch the outer garment to the welts. Fold back your outer garment revealing the seam allowance to the buttonhole opening. Stitch right along your stay stitching to attach the seam allowance to the button welts. Repeat this process for the top and bottom and left and right side of the buttonhole opening. Remove your basting stitches from around the buttonhole opening. On your horsehair canvas, you'll mark the exact size of your buttonhole opening. Stay stitch around your plotted out buttonhole opening on the horsehair canvas. Once you've stay stitched your horsehair canvas, trim out the center of the buttonhole opening. From the wrong side of your garment, you can now pull the welting of the buttonhole through the opening of your horsehair canvas.
On the side closest to your garment, trim the welting down to about half its length on both the top and bottom. On the facing of your garment, you will fuse where the buttonhole window will be. Repeat the same process as before by stay stitching a bias cut facing onto the right side of the garment facing. Clip through all layers of fabric, creating a slit in the middle of the buttonhole window. Clip through this window exactly like you did on the buttonhole opening. Pull the facing through to the wrong side of the fabric and press it flat. Again, be careful not to stretch your buttonhole window when pressing. The buttonhole window should line up exactly over the buttonhole opening. Here we have our bound buttonhole. We can see the inside, the, the welting, and the facing. And here is the buttonhole window on the garment facing. Now line up the buttonhole window over the buttonhole and pin it in place. With a hidden slip stitch, attach the window to the welting of the buttonhole. This will permanently hold the garment facing to the buttonhole. Your bound buttonhole is now complete.